we want to bring it all the way up to deity? Sure. And for the stream, I'm going to go standard. Map type. Oh, <laughs> we could go with one of these balance maps. I don't think we're going to do that, though. Um, well, that was just fractal. Oh, we've never played an inland sea. Let's do inland sea. On the standard map. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the stone age, Sounds like it's plus one bonus from the resources, plus two from commercial district. Steps That's really interesting. So between now the Hansa being so good quest, and getting the extra district in every city, it should be a lot easier to set up those combos. On towards the stars. Heroic Frederick, king of the Germans. Your task so is to forge the independent states that surround you into an empire. Inland seas do not wrap. Okay. That's okay. I don't wrap either. Use those skills to bring these cities under your sway, so that they may develop into commercial and industrial powerhouses. Surely then the bards will sing. So let's take a look here. Um, Hansa. All right. So. Plus one production for two district tiles is the same. Plus two production for each adjacent commercial hub. Yeah, that is crazy. And plus one production from each adjacent resource does not get a boost for being adjacent to mines. But from each adjacent resource, not strategic or bonus or luxury, just any resource you're adjacent to, Wow. Wow, that's pretty good. And yes, you're right, double horses. And of course, we have the... What's our other bonus with city-states? Something, something, city-states. Plus seven combat strength in attacking city-states, which is massive early on. So I think we'd probably look to do something like that. Trifecta is water resources, commercial hub, and harbor. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I totally see what you're saying. In this situation, we'd probably um, probably do something like industrial area over here, commercial over here. Commercial gets a bonus for uh, each river tile it's adjacent to or something like that. Or I guess maybe we'll, we'll have to see exactly how it works out. Like commercial here maybe um, and uh, industrial here. Either way, there's lots of places we can build industrial next to two resources. I mean, I guess in a sense, this is the best industrial zone spot next to three resources and then you can put a commercial district here here or something like that do we actually want to move this the settler just to the south by one the downside to that is we'd only start our city adjacent to one resource which would be truffles And we're not playing as Russia here, so we don't get the extra tiles. And the truffle resource is, t is one food, two production, so it's actually kind of a crap tile to work early. Whereas the horses, even unimproved, gives two production, two food. I think we start where we are to milk slightly better early game tiles. Slightly better early game tiles right here. Um, we also start next to the, uh, the cattle for the three food tile, right? So... The, the, technically, the horse tile is a little stronger, but we might start working the milk first. Where if I moved south, I lose access to all that. So it's a much, much stronger start if I just settle here. So that's what we're going to do. Akin. And, I mean, I could have moved the uh, the warrior first to get an idea, but I, I don't think that was going to change much. I'm going to go here to get up onto the hill. Stone, copper, we got mountains over here. Very nice potential spot for our next city. Um... And I think I'm going to start with, like, double scout. At the very least, one scout early on. Hmm. You're right, I haven't changed the title. Um. Russia. Game. Crashed. Starting. New. Uh, run as Germany. Slash. Deity.
Yes, I know where Akin is right now. It could have been a good place for the hunt, so we discussed that. Uh, but it would have made our initial start much, much, much weaker. Because now we have access to much stronger tiles. Now, you have to worry, because the AI, the city planner rates the gold basically on par with everything else or whatever. So it's preferring this, which is not what we want. The only question is, do we go for the growth priority? So this will grow us in five turns. Or the slightly higher production so this would be seven turns until growth, but it means we get a first scout in six turns instead of ten. It's two turns slower for growth, but four turns faster for a first scout. On deity, I'm really worried about barbarians. I'm actually thinking I'm going to prioritize this. No, let's just go for the growth, and then we can work the other tile afterwards. It's going to be fine. All right, production-wise, what do we go for? Well, it seems like animal husbandry is probably, like, a good base. It also gets us to archery very fast. Um, pottery, we don't we don't need the granary early on. Doesn't unlock writing, obviously, which is quite nice. Um, astrology, I mean, we're not going to go for early Stonehenge. We don't have stone, and even if we did, we'd probably be beaten by an AI. Uh, mining, yeah, it seems like animal husbandry is kind of a no-brainer, and we probably will want to get uh, archery relatively quick. Oh, yes, and we can, we'll can. we rename cities. That's one of the nice things that the patch did add, is the ability to rename cities. Um, and when that got introduced, we didn't go around renaming any cities because we were sort of already established. I mean, I did go with Bustovich and Washington. But now we will actually rename cities after subscribers. Thank you very much for the reminder. List is loaded. Come on. Chug, 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 chug. It's a big list. Come on. I use Google uh, Drive for like my, my spreadsheets and things like that. So it's sometimes not very quick. There we go. So our capital city is going to be the glorious city of Majden. Majden. Very strong city name. Um, it, means, um, it means city between two rivers and next to cows and also horses and pigs. You know, it's kind of a long name. Um, you wouldn't think so. But it turns out the German's very expressive. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get another hat on, but I'm just gonna go like this here. I don't have I don't have a German hat. I'm sorry. I suppose I have a crown for like the leader of the HRE, but I guess it'll have to go. Randomize the list until I'm at top. Oh, Biowolfus. So do we go north or south? Oh, right. We can see aha the edge of the map here, right? And it doesn't loop. So if I go west, I'm not really gonna discover as many things. So. I'm going to go south because this is a place maybe I'd want to settle with the mountains and stuff. Oh my god, look at all the desert hills. You know how suicidal it would be to go for a Petra? Don't, don't, don't even start with me with the Petra shit. No. No, no, no. Bum, bum, bum. And Shoikin just says, Petra, <laughs> Petra, Petra, Petra. <laughs> no. All right, here's an exception. If Brussels, if we find Brussels early, and Brussels is near desert mountains or desert hills, and we conquer Brussels, then I will have to build the Petra in, in Brussels. That'll be the one, the one case, the one special case. All right, Mashin's about to grow, and what I meant to check a little earlier is if I move you now... Excellent. You're still going to grow in one turn over here. Don't trust this number. This doesn't update uh, as dynamically as the bottom. But if I do this, we can squeeze a little extra production. I mean, it wouldn't have been a waste. The overflow would have been stored. But it's probably better. There you go. Size 2. And I will lock you. So you'll work higher food, higher this. I mean, don't get me wrong. The gold is nice. Certainly. But growth is a lot better early on. So we're going to go with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very lumpy and bumpy. We discovered another continent. Hey, that's interesting. Let's take a look at the continent lens. Oh, it's there. I thought it might have been the river crossing, but no. Oh, hey, we just got a tip in. Why did it go explodey? I don't know. But Glowen, thank you very much. You sent in a tip that says Petra. <laughs> yes, they did add the butter growth thing. That was um, that is quite nice. You can see where the next tile will be. Hugely nice. You could always sort of kind of guess, but now we got another boom. New game hype from Robin. I mean, I've said it before. There's nothing, nothing in the world like the start of a 
new game of Civilization. Because the possibilities, you've got, you've got this little spot and then fog of war. You don't know how the game will go. Who will your neighbors be? Will you be forced to early war? Will you be able to grow? I don't know, especially since I don't lock in on a victory condition early on, which you really can't on a lot of higher difficulty stuff. You have to be flexible. Um, and so, you know, he's always so full of possibility. So I do like new games, but I'm a little upset that they couldn't finish the old one. I don't know if I want to go this way. I mean, I want to at some point. You know what I need to do? I have to be worried about barbarians. There's probably going to be a one that spawns like right here any second now, which is annoying. I'm going to keep my warrior a little closer to home. Um, get a scout out. We will need an early slinger as well so that we can get the boost towards um, archery. Cow's pig's horse's start equals Petra. Oh, pet raw. Oh. Get out. Get out. All right. I'm going to go for a slinger now. If there's source Civ 5, I'd be very tempted to go double scout into Monument. But things are very different here. Uh, here's what I'm going to do with this guy. I'm going to move... I'm, while I'm not expecting to see much in this corner, uh, there could be a civilization over here. So I'm going to go sort of north northwest and then east from there. Can you dig it? I mean, we can go a little further do this, but... Actually, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Ooh, more desert up there. More desert hills, you guys! If there are no dogs in heaven. Then when I die, I want to go where they went. Blue border south of the warrior. Oh, over here? Yes, indeed. But more importantly, Goody Hut. So we might want to get mining, because you can never get a boost to it, so, you know, it's fine. We do actually have some minable minerals over here, so that might be a thing to consider. Hey, Zello, thanks for the sub. Um, we could pre-research half of our tree. We could work on pottery for the idea of trying to unlock writing relatively early. I think, and while this is going to hurt a little bit, I don't think we're going to get an early campus in Majton over here. I mean, uh, campus gets adjacency bonus from, what, two forests or one mountain or something like that. It doesn't look like there's anywhere I can get more than a plus one science boost. Whereas, if I just focus on a little bit of just grow and then settlement over here, I can very easily settle here and maybe even down here and then go and pop a couple of really crazy campuses over here. Right? Do you not like the yield indicators? Um, I like it when I'm like placing my settlers and things like that, but I don't usually need it. I, I check, uh, and most people complain if it's on. It's just too noisy, so. Uh, I think I will just pick up mining for now. I don't think we have to rush anything because nothing's gonna be done. Nothing's gonna be needed that early. So yeah, I wanna go and check out what's over here. No barbarians. Turn 10 on deity on normal speed. I kind of expected something already. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to go and cross at this point. I mean, I know there's a bunch of fog of war over there, but my priority is not to scout out the edges. My priority is going to scout out stuff that I have to compete with um, other people with. Uh, we got an inspiration towards craftsmanship. That's handy. All the way to the right of the capital, you can build a thing there on the stone. I mean, there's stone here. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Barbarians got turned down a bit in the patch. Oh! Well, that changes my early game. Maybe I shouldn't have gone Slinger. Maybe I should have gone for a, um, a second scout. I'm going to go down here. I don't want to go too far away with my warrior, though, because I'm still not trusting it too much. Let's go here. There's some good terrain over here. There's tons of good terrain. Oh, there's a barbarian. Stay away from my city, you bastard. Whack. Holy stone, Batman. 
Wasn't Barb's only turn down a lower difficulty? That seems reasonable. So, I mean, turn 14, I saw the scout, so it probably spawned a couple of turns ago. So, um, we're going to go for Discipline and Survey! Hey! Um, and God King for now. I don't know what's going to happen religiously over here. Again, I'm probably not going to rush a Holy Site, unless I do it at the Second City. And then, do we get a religion at that point on Deity? Probably not. So we got a boost to either one of these routes, which is nice. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with craftsmanship, which normally it's quite hard to get, you know, craftsmanship before your first settler because of the boost, right? But now we got the boost for free, and then it'll unlock Ilkum, which will give us a boost towards builders. B before the first builder is what I meant to say, not first settler. Candy! I like candy. Plus, we can conquer it really easily because we get plus seven to combat strength against city-states. And if we do it early enough, we won't even get any warmonger penalties, so woot. All right, you, this is kind of annoying. I'm going to go and rest you a tick. You're going to see the city in a minute. But we'll get you on the way back. We've got a slinger about to pop, too. Mm -hmm. Petra to the north and south. Double Petra! Double Petra all the way! I'll move you here. Whack, whack, whack. Almost dead. We need to get a kill with the slinger. Um, so yes, now we got a tough decision. I do want to get a monument up and running, certainly soon, but I am very nervous, rightfully so, about barbarians, so a warrior would be good. I think it's a little early for a builder, but I'm really tempted to get a settler going now. Of course, we're playing on deity, which means the AI starts with three settlers, right? Like two extra settlers, four techs, four civics, a whole bunch of free units. So, hmm. I'm very tempted to build an early settler. The question is, is one slinger and one warrior going to be sufficient? Now, one thing that's nice, the fact that there's a city-state over here, to me, says probably no, not as much a barbarian in this area. There is something over here, so not as much over there. This is empty, so plenty of places for barbarians. And, of course, anywhere over here. If I did build another military unit... Upgrading from a slinger to an archer is also very cheap. And we're hopefully about to kill someone with our slinger. Um, get archery, and then go and conquer candy using our bonus. I kind of like that. Need a builder, your land is garbage. It's really not. We're actually working pretty high quality tiles right now. Although, of course, it'll get much, much better with the builder. Okay, I think we are going to go builder, and then I might go and uh, build up a little bit more military. Okay, people want the builder, and we've got three obvious places to go and improve with our builder. Uh, oh, wait! Uh, but Ilkum, hold on. No, I'm going to wait until I've got Ilkum. So, what I'm going to do then is I will build a second slinger. We'll use that to help deal with the barbarian possibility, but also if we can get them both upgraded to an archer. Then we go and take candy. Move you over here. Just to provide a little zone of control for this scout. Hoping to stop it right over here. Who okay. deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? Now, the problem is I can't sling him because I'm crossing a river. I really want to get the kill with the slinger if I can. I'm going to start researching archery. Hopefully I'll finish it. I'll stop halfway or so. We'll figure something out. I mean, this guy came from here. I don't know if he's going to be looping back over here. Maybe he spawned over here much earlier and then he went around. It's hard as hell to catch someone with a freaking slinger. I have no idea what he's up to. Hmm... Yeah, I don't think we're getting him. So that's annoying. I mean, I guess I'll just get my posse going this way to scout east is fine. Where the hell are you going? Aren't you supposed to be running back to your, your encampment? Well, there's one there. I don't know if that's the one. But it's a one. Alright, you, Mr. Scout, just rest where you are then for now. We may help you get you to help clear this out.
Usually when the city stick gets a kill, yeah, maybe. Uh, that's interesting, but not, like, unbelievable. I'm not going to move back. I'm going to take a shot here. Being in the forest, and this guy's now damaged, is probably going to be okay. I'm going to move up a little closer now. Oh, tribal village. We could play it oh, as, um... What's his name? Is it Gilgamesh that, like, barbarian encampments are tribal villages? It's crazy. Diggs, thanks for the sub. Caboose as well. Thank you very much. Steal the builder and candy. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, um, I'm going to start on the settler. But then in five turns, I'm going to switch out, put in Ilkum, and then get a builder going. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move you this way just in case we do need some extra muscle over here to finish things off and also incur increase the chance that we finish things with the Slinger. We're almost halfway point on archery. Okay. So here's what we do. Don't kill him. Nice. There's a possibility. So this, decisive victory. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Actually, now that I think about it, we actually get a... Um, we, we want three archers at some point. I could build another settler now, and then... No, that's okay. We'll keep going like this. So that's in four turns. Archery is now going to finish naturally, which is great. I'm going to get you to... Pop this first. Because I don't want to respawn. We get a Eureka. And the AI doesn't seem to go after Goody Huts. I don't know if that's still the case in the in the patch, but it seems to have been. I'm going to go and park you here across the river. What does this pop up here? Oh, quest completed. Wow, we're getting a lot of envoys with them. It's going to be a shame when we go and, like, conquer them, right? May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Right, actually, I should have kept you in friendly territory is what I should be doing. And you as well, get over there so we can upgrade you. All right. I'm going to unlock pottery now because it's the last non eurekable thing. Plus, it gets us to writing, which we're going to want for something at some point. Um, warrior. Just rest for now. That's going to be fine. Actually, which had the promotion? Oh, you do. Yeah, that's okay. We'll wait. Um, pop the goodie hut, which gives us faith. You're going to move here, and then we'll probably get you to rest up before we put you on auto-explore. I'm actually debating finishing the settler. What the hell was that noise? Oh! It's a found a pantheon noise! Okay, this is tough to choose. This is very tough to choose. Stone Circles is tempting if we go and settle down here immediately. What? We got a boom. An earth-shattering kaboom. Um... Alias Mia. Thank you very much for the tip. It's my birthday and I just signed my first book contract. Book contract? That's cool. So here's spreading the joy to my fave YouTuber. Thank you very much, Alias. Or Mia. I don't know, whichever. Thank you very much. And book deal. That's really cool. Congrats. So yeah, I'm thinking like maybe, you know what, we rush the settler, we go stone circles, and then the question becomes, exactly where do we settle? It's time for map pins. I wonder if they fix the bugs with the map pins. So we've got something like A1, A2, Brute, A3. Um, now, uh, if we settle, you know, wherever we settle at A1 or A3, we'll probably want to build a... Um, um, a campus or a holy site or perhaps both in here, right? That becomes a very, very good location for that. A1 and A3, maybe we want to reserve for that. Uh, another possibility would be something like an A4 over here. Um, of course, we don't have to be adjacent to the mountains. I sort of have the Civ 5 mentality still where it's like, no, I have to be adjacent to the mountains so that it can build an observatory. You don't need to do that. Um, adjacent to the river is a lot better, although once you get aqueducts, it's a little bit less important. Um, I don't think I want to settle any further south of the city. I want to be closer to our capital. Um, another possibility could be something like here. 